Hey yo everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. On the last episode, we took care of everything that pretty much needed to be done on the DK Isles, and we now have 200 golden bananas. And on today's episode, we're gonna go tackle K Rule's uh, hideout itself for level 8. And there's specifically a number pad in here, just in case you don't want to deal with the invisible invisibility shenanigans for crossing the vines, but... I hopefully should not need to use that. And as you can see from this total here, you only need half of this amount of golden bananas to get over here, or to even get inside. So enough dilly-dallying, let's charge in! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! It's the Kongs! Wake up, you fools, and activate the machine! What is not fully tested and might explode and destroy us all! Don't tell me what I can't do! But please, Master, just give us a few more hours! No, the time has come! Goodbye, DK Isles! Here's the deal, Kong. The blueprints you found have allowed me to block the Blastomatic's firing sequence for 50 minutes. You must locate and deactivate the machine in the main cavern. Hurry, or you won't have an island to go back to. So yeah. That's the main shtick here for Hideout Helm. You are on a time limit here, so you need to get going pronto. And first things first, they just throw off a ledge at ya. And I should explain about this timer. You get one minute per blueprint, and there are 40 blueprints. So if you didn't get any of the blueprints, you have only 10 minutes to do this level. So you better get cracking. But anyway, I should also note that, uh, the music will not change at all if you hop in a tag barrel. Yeah. This level's kind of intense. And this ain't even the half of it yet. And this, co and this level is specifically designed to take advantage of every Kong's different abilities to get you through here so uh, don't get blocked by the web and swing over instant kill lava alrighty here gonna just smack your face in this is the hall where that guy was running around and ran into that clap trap that was really huge as you can see here now they throw uh, tinies uh, shrinking at you so uh, best to make it quick. Well, actually, by getting all the blueprints, I've get secured plenty of time. There's really not too much of a worry if you've gotten every single blueprint. Plus, they decide to give you infinite crystal coconuts to get you plenty of time to get you where you need to go. But then again, the only time limit you have is the one at the bottom of the screen. And once you go in here, well, you're now stuck. And there's different doors for every Kong... Well, not specific, every... Yeah, I think this is every Kong to deal with. Now, around here should be this, a uh, lever that needs to be pulled. So go and hit B, and you'll be able to get on your way. Specifically, this will make stars appear up around the, the area. You need to go hop in the barrel as Diddy Kong and go and uh, fly through them all. The time limit is actually kind of hard here if you don't really know how to control yourself very well. And of course the time will not stop if you hop in the barrel. It's either way, uh, uh, just gotta make sure you get through them all before time runs out, which hopefully shouldn't be an issue. Because unfortunately the turning's a little shoddy here. 
there really should be much more to it. All right, that opens up all five doors. Uh, yeah, yeah I can't. I'm going to tackle them all one at a time. And let's go and get Chunky Kong out here to go break the grate. Now, this is definitely why you need the blueprints, because ten minutes is not going to cut it at all here. And, of course, every door has a corresponding Kong you need, so, uh... Door number one will specifically be Donkey Kong here. And now there's a little something for each, uh, door. Once you get through, which I'll show in just a minute, after I go DK Bongoing it away. Now you notice something peculiar here. That's a 3D model of a uh, banana metal, and there are two floating barrels here. Yup, you gotta deal with mini games. Hey, donkey! Jump into the blast barrel and hit three targets. And now you get 30 seconds to hit targets, as this is something Donkey Kong should be used to by this point. And also notice the different music that is to, uh, there we go. You gotta get, you gotta clear both mini games in each room in order to get the banana metal and shut the thing off. So it should just break right there. And I don't know how metal bursts into wood, but okay. Now this one has you as Rambi. Wow, it's Rambi. Go bash some Kremlings, but watch out for the power pylons. Yeah, the power pylons will stun you if you hit them. So just knock out every Kremlin you can see. It's really not even much of a bother, really. And again, I'm not hurting beavers, so I'm happy. And, the, and you gotta really act fast, as they give you a pretty strict timer here. Kinda close here, but... Wow, I just went from Rambi to DK in an instant. <laughs> but anyway, let's go and uh, break that and claim a medal. Actually, beating it beating both games will just power it down. Collecting the medals are technically optional. And I guess the cutscene will actually guide you to where you need to go next. And that actually makes a graphic for the banana medal show up just like that. I wonder if those were actually meant to be collectible on the field or not, I wonder. Eh, no matter. Let's go just go switching back to Chunky and uh, get ourselves going on to another uh, series of mini games. So, uh, best hurry it up. He will require a triangle blast just like all the other Kongs and their respective instruments. Bleh. Alrighty now. Um, that's a damn good way to waste time. Let's just jump on in and see what we gotta do. You'll like this one, Chunky! Just find the hidden Kremlin and bash him! And you get 20 seconds. Pick a barrel and... Or pick a box and... Try and find him. That's all I can say. Uh, damn it! Am I... No, they give you just enough time, because you can just walk into the Kremlin and boom, he's done. Okay, next up, we're going to have something, I don't know, let's just see. Come on, Chunky, stand on the podium and use the sniper scope to shoot the baddies. Oh, God. Oh, they need me to zoom in. Oh, good thing I actually picked up some homing ammo for this, specifically. Um, uh, damn you. Uh, there we go. Haha! <laughs> yeah, the homing ammo in the uh, level lobby for hideout helm is definitely something I recommend picking up, because it makes that minigame a whole lot easier. And it's just, oh god. I think that would have been a nightmare otherwise, because my aim is a... Atrocious. 
So it looks like I have to drag Tiny Kong here next, and timer's counting down. Yeah, you definitely would not be able to take care of this in like 10 minutes. Alright, so let's just keep on going, and uh, tag barrel plea. Oh wait, no, I have to open the way up first, damn it. At the very least, uh, the, the room is very central, and... You know what? While I'm here, I'm gonna go bash that other gate down, so, uh... Switching Kongs will not be an issue! Alright, so let's go punch open Lanky's grate. And, of course, they have to make you go through an order, because the pads will not appear otherwise. So, uh... Let's go drag Tiny into this, and, uh... Hopefully we'll go have some minigame bashing fun. And of course I bet something will involve her going small, because that's just how it works. Alright! <coughs> Pardon the coughing. So with that, the dude gets knocked out, and we can go inside and uh, go participate in yet more minigames. Come on, Tiny! Use the mushrooms to leap through the stars! Oh, God. So, oh, I see now. They take advantage of her, uh, gliding abilities to, uh, get things done. And I wonder what... It's useless! Okay! So that's what I get for tempting my curiosity. Anyway, this game is super simple. So just go on to the other one and just take care of it. Okay, next up. Jump through three stars without touching the ground, and then hit the switch! Okay, so this one is testing your, uh, gliding prowess as I just horribly failed like that. So we can now just skip Squawks' detail again, and now we can just, uh, oh god! Why did I do that? Alright, let's just try that again. <laughs> oh god. I'm just doing terribly. So just, this one, you can kind of actually take your time to make sure you can do it. Okay, now this one's kind of tricky, so now you just gotta get over here. And just stepping on it will do it, actually. Alright, so now that'll ta be taken care of, and tiny stuff will be all done. I think that one was actually the hardest one so far, I'll have to say. Alright, so now that that's done, Lanky's pad is now here. And you know what that means. Collect a medal, go switch a Kong. Simple as that, really. Alright, so just get out of this dude's way by kicking him in the gut. I'm kind of a prick, I'll be honest. And then go switching to the correct Kong, please. Here we go. And I forget, I bet there's something as on guard or something as, uh, lanky. Think, brain, think. I know it's possible. I mean, I may have Asperger's for Pete's sake, but I can do some form of cognitive thinking. Damn it. Alright, with this trombone blast out of the way, we can uh, go take care of yet more minigames, because, well, that's what they want you to do, and hell, I can at least give them some credit for them being unique minigames, that's for sure. Okay. Hit the switch hidden in the maze, then reach the finish line. Alright, of course they make you want to go fast, so, uh... Go jumping in the uh, barrel after losing so much time like I do. And you might actually... F I'm probably going to bet you you're going to fail this one the first time because... Well, it's kind of... Uh, got to memorize the maze and stuff. Don't get hit. And... Holy crap! Did it on the last second! Thought I was going to fail. That was awesome! But anyway... Next barrel, please! Blast the zingers! Well, that was goddamn specific. <laughs> well, I have three shots of 
homing ammo left and they need multiple shots. Okay. I getcha. Come on. Do I gotta zoom in and getcha? Oh, crap. This might be bad. Because I suck at shooting things. <laughs> um, that's a failure animation. Okay. Let's get back up, please, and then shoot these suckers, as that's what these are. Uh, these are toy zingers, if anything. I have to zoom in a little bit to try and get this guy. Uh, crap. I got him. Okay, that was easy, really. Because that guy was literally right next to me, and they don't even make you require to get them all. Damn. Alright, so, with this one done, that'll eliminate Lanky's stream of energy. And now, the last one's for Diddy Kong, specifically. And where is his, you might ask? Well, it's all the way up in... near the top of the room, actually. Well, isn't that kind of obvious? He has a jet barrel, his room's at the top. Get it? But okay, enough uh, lollygagging in terms of dialogue and stuff. So let's just go and get uh, Diddy Kong up there, shall we? I'm going very high! Also, the uh, there's a battle arena pad in here, so just in case. Uh, but anyway, let's just go and uh, play some guitar here and uh, get on moving. And I totally hit the mic while I was talking, which was clearly foolish of me. Alright, so let's just go and uh, get this out of the way, and we sh these two out of the way, and we should be good to go. Bash the Kremlings that activated the switch, then press it! Okay, they just require you to just beat them all up. And they're running from you, what cowards. Alright, get your ass back here. I swear to God, if you don't stop running, you're... I swear, you're all just little bitches, I swear. Okay, that's pretty easy, actually, and boom! That's it, really. <laughs> just gotta chase after them, and... Well, that was really sweet, actually. Bitches! Alright, let's get this next one out of the way, and let's see. Take to the air and shoot four switches to get a surprise! Um, I'm going to take half a bit and say the surprise is, um, uh, deactivating a thing. And I think this is the only game that actually has, uh, more time than 30 seconds. Because of flying. Well, at least they were nice enough to do that. Uh, okay, so that's number three. Then they have goons on the ground to make sure you, uh, Try and fuck up royally. Alright, this isn't even hard. Uh, oh, I actually have to ground pound it this time around, not just step on it. Bitches. Alright. So now with that, the machine should be fully powered down now, so there's no more time limit. Lucky us. And the music changes, because there's no more... Uh, machine that's on and this K rule door will open up so let's go collect the final banana medal in the game let's go collect the final crown in the game while we're at it so uh, I think I might actually just uh, specifically uh, words show off like the first something seconds of it because there isn't really much more to do and my time is still infinite for some reason so let's just go and teleport on. Welcome to the Shockwave Showdown for 90 seconds! Once again, Running B is your friend. And there isn't really much more to this, and we've and this pattern of enemies has actually already been seen. It's just so damn long. So I think I'll just see you guys when I have that crown. Okay, there is something I'll have to say about this one, though. They spawn a third Kasplat right near the end of the of the arena itself, so, uh, with that, we now have every single crown in the game. So, uh, let's just take some, uh, falling damage and go straight through that door we opened up. 
Now, there's a, actually been a reason we've been co collecting crowns, because uh, an upcoming door will require four crowns. So just a note. Also, I wonder if that's the same uh, claptrap that was uh, operating the uh, steering. And once again, here's the same text from before in Frantic Factory. And a picture of the moon for some reason. That's the same. That should be the same graphic as in a uh, creepy castle. So let's go open this four door, shall we? What a bitch! He ran away! But anyway, we'll be after him fairly soon, cause, uh, here we are in his personal throne room, with the Kong's faces right there, the cinematics right there, and the reason to have gotten the Nintendo and Rareware coins. If you don't have them at this point, you really should, because you'll have to backtrack to get them. And in this location is conveniently the two banana fairies of this level which I just somehow failed to get that and the last key so I think I'm just gonna get a little closer and well you fucking let me take a picture of you damn it <sighs> all right come on what is with these oh they want me to catch a certain one first I get ya. I believe. What the hell? Really? Game? Really? Let me capture damn fairies. Uh, that didn't work. That really didn't work at all. All right, let's just get these fairies and. Damn it! All the hell! I've done this before. I swear. Oh. I'm having such a hard time, honestly. Uh, if I keep screwing up... Oh, nope! I got a two for one as I was complaining! Wow! Well done, Diddy. You've rescued all the fairies. Now come back and see me. Um, okay. I can do that just as soon as I get this key. Because that's the whole reason I'm even here. So, uh... They don't even teleport you out of the level. So let's just go back to that one pad and just go escort ourselves out of here. And you know, before giving that key to Kane Lumsey, I think I'm going to go and see the Banana Fairy herself. As she has a really good reward for ya. Which, if you've played Donkey Kong 64 before and are watching this just to see how I play it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go and teleport back over to here. And of course you'll want to go back to being Tiny Kong, because otherwise you can't really do much about it. So here we are now with Tiny Kong, and I just want to check something really fast on the pause menu. I still only have 30 grenades. I thought I went up to 40 for some reason. At least that's how I remember it being. Oh well. I guess I'll take care of that later. Anyway, for now, I'm falling! Splish! Alright, Banana Fairy. I will go and see you now for the last time. So let's go shrink on and I'll go see that fairy. Tiny, oh Tiny, you did it! You rescued all the Banana Fairies and have restored peace to Banana Fairy Island. Thank you! I can now reveal our secret. Tiny, thanks once again. 
Banana Fairy Kingdom is eternally grateful to you and your friends. Well, I'm grateful for your treasure. Yup! The 201st Golden Banana, which has a rare, rare logo on it, actually. So just a fun little thing. You know what? I'm just going to give you um, just a moment of just that spinning, awesome banana. And uh, there you go. 201 golden bananas. And with that, that actually makes the completion progress 101%. And you know what? I think the last thing we're going to do on this episode is go give K. Lumsey that key. So, uh, we're going to use this five pad one last time, as we'll never need to use it again. And you know what? Just for good time's sake, we're going to go give him the key as Donkey Kong. So, uh, let's go and give that key right to him. That scene always gets me, it's just, that's pretty damn funny, and just like, just, I don't know. I just personally find it funny, I don't know about you guys. But I should show, now show something off with the three pad. So, turn the camera around, and you'll notice that here is a K Rules uh, flying machine with an entrance right here. And the wreckage is just kind of spread right there. And down there is the final battle of the game. But that's for the finale, so uh, on today's episode of Donkey Kong 64, we wrapped up Hideout Helm rather uh, timely and uh, rescue got uh, K. Lumsey out of his cage and got the 201st Golden Banana. And on the finale, we'll be taking on K. Rule himself. And so with that, I'm a Nick, and I'll see you guys at the finale.